Now let's go over some of the basics of set theory. We've got four sets A, B, C and D. First up, let's see which of the following statements is true. Well our first statement there is uh, 4 is a member of C. So that symbol, the epsilon symbol there means is a member of. So we've got set C there. Is 4 a member of C? Well we've got C. Its members are 5, 6 and 2. So clearly we can mark that one down as false. 5 is a member of C? Yes, well it is. So we can put that as uh, true. A new symbol here. We've got set A is a subset of B. Uh, remember in our textbook they tend to use the the symbol for a subset there so that's incorporate an equality sign. The more usual sign or symbol for a subset is just this one. We'll stick to that one. It's the more commonly used one. Okay, so is A a subset of B? We've got B is uh, 2, 5 and 6. Set A is members are 2, 3 and 4, so that's false. D is a subset of C. Well, D it just has one member, 6. That's true. A new symbol? Well, the equality symbol. That's familiar to us, but this means that sets are equal to each other. So B is equal to or equivalent to, has the same members as set C. We've got in B, 2, 5 and 6. In C, 5, 6 and 2. They're in a different order, but they're the same members. So we can say that's true. And lastly, if that A is equal to or equivalent to B, Again, B we have 2, 5 and 6, A is 2, 3 and 4. There's one common element uh, there, but A is not the same as B, not equivalent. They don't have the same members. Now looking at some operations. First up, we have the set of the members that belong to A and B. To recall, in general terms, if we have a set, it's a typical member is X, and then we're defining those members. So this would be uh, X is a member of A and X is a member of B. So we need both of those to be true. A and B. So we've, here we've got 2 is a member of A and a, a member of B. Okay, so the set A and B is equal to then just 2 has one member. So the set where the members belong to A or B, so the, the U-shape symbol there means OR. So again, if we look at the general definition here, we've got typical member X. So X is a member of A or X is a member of B. Remember OR includes AND. So we've got A, 2, 3 and 4, B, 2, 5 and 6. So 2 is common to both, but we only count it once. So our set then, A or B, would be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Backslash is a, a NOT symbol. So the set that of members that belong to A but not B, it's Write that more formally, so it'll be X, a typical member, that X, such that uh, X is a member of A, and X is not a member of B. Well, as we mentioned earlier, 2 is the element that's common to both A and B, so we've got A, 2, 3, and 4, except for the members that don't belong to B. So what we're left with there is 3 and 4. And B, not A. Again, we've got the same, well, not quite the same. So it'll be X, such that uh, X is a member of B, and X is not a member of A. That'll just be 5 and 
6. Next, uh, we have something a little bit more complicated. So we want the set that is A or B, but not A and B. So here we have uh, A or B, but not A and B, which was 2. So what we're going to be left with there is 3, 4, 5 and 6.